Guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're going to be fixing my Maverick Quantum Flux. In a previous video, you saw that the car had no drive, so we're gonna be fixing that today. Uh, also, some tools fall on me. And uh, I'll do a bit of an extended cut for you so you can uh, see exactly how I fixed it. Um, if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Leave a few comments and I hope you enjoy it. Cheers, guys. Right, guys, in this video, we're going to put back together my Maverick Quantum Flux. Here's the parts we have here to get it going again. We chewed up a bevel gear on the rear, the front diff casing, took a beating, which we'll see along the way. Um, we've got new arms. These took nearly two months to get really hard. There's the part number if you want them. Uh, we have got some new body mounts but I'll just keep them as spare because I use these blue anodized body mounts as you can see here. Um, I'll put a link down below on how and where I got them from eBay. So if you want some guys, you can get some, um, but they're touch small. So all I did was um, put some heat shrink around them heated up the heat shrink and it just made them big enough to fit on there. Uh, they're not perfect but pretty much perfect and they're obviously a lot stronger because the rubbish plastic ones always break and these have been quite good to me so far. So let's get all the bits and bobs open. Plastic is awful. Right guys, where to start? That's pretty crap. We'll start with the front. So what you need to do is change out all the bearings into the new diff case. Because I don't know if you can see there, but what happened was the, the little pin in there that um, holds the input shaft on uh, came loose and just as it was spinning round it's just chewed apart chewed apart the uh, inside of this diff housing they're only cheap cost about six english pounds for a new diff casing all we've got to do is swap over the bearings and we'll be cushy so let's crack on I really like these uh, Mavericks guys. Um, they're, you know, they're they're popular for a reason. Um, it's just flipping annoying that they're just built a bit flimsy. You know, like uh, a lot of people know about the rear arms breaking which isn't a new thing, it's just a pain in the backside. Like I know they're a budget car, but they can run 3S, but come on, like, we could have expected, there's a bit falls off my screwdriver there. We could have expected a little bit better, but hopefully they'll make some revisions to the lower arms and the drive shafts and stop them breaking so often. I suppose everything has, has a price. I'll go get these out. These are just captive nuts, guys. So we just need to poke them out. You can see there, we're just pushing out the captive nuts. A bit of a pain in the backside. That one came out a lot easier. All right, then we need to Get the bearings out. That's not going to work. This little tiny screw. Whoa, my tools fell off the wall. That's a pain in the ass. Guys, 
need to try and prise out this this bearing. Cut, they normally come out quite easily. Just got to coax them out. And for the one in there, we've just got to get it, get a bit of a wiggle on. Just get a screwdriver. It's now down here on the floor. Just this little hammer, look, guys. This is a cool little hammer. And bang, out she comes. Yep, so once again, that's where that's the old uh, diff case that's chewed itself to pieces. What a pain in the ass. Right, get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. All right guys, so here we have the new diff casing. And we're gonna do, carefully press the bearings in there. They're in good shape, so we don't need to pack them out. Let's get that back in there. That's in there nice. Yeah. Right, let's put a little captive nuts back on there. Can hear the hat cat behind me rustling. I think he wants to say hello. So that's the front. Do these up, guys. Let's just do this up, and then we've got two more. Not good. That's not even in line. Loosen these over to touch just so we can get a bit of wiggle. Hopefully, that'll go in now. There we go. Hmm. Now we can just turn this, that's much easier. Turn that, then turn the flipping screwdriver. Much easier, guys. Round and round we go. Da 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 da. Make sure they're nice and tight. Crank it down for me, Rums. Well done, that for a bit tight, look. Naughty me, I've pushed that right through there. Whoopsies. Don't know my own strength sometimes. As solid as a rock, they ain't going anywhere. Luckily we have plenty of spares of these. Here's the... I know my workspace here is a bit messy, but... Here's the drive line, guys. It happened before on the old diff casing. I've chucked it on the floor now, but... This pin had come loose. And when it had spun round and round and round, it had chewed up the inside of there and caused a lack of drive. So, how we get this in, look, it's a bit fiddly, and this pin is slightly bent, but we can work with it. What you do is you push that through there, see, and then you think, Christ, how am I going to get that pin in? Luckily, 
there's a hole in the bottom here where you push the pin in. So what you gotta do is push it through, through there, through the little hole, she said, pants. Through the little hole, So you've got to sort of line it up. It's a bit of a pain in the backside. Line it up and push it through. What I use is I've got these. These are circlip pliers. I've found that the end is about right to shove these home. Oof, see? Nice bit of penetration there, lads. You know what I mean? Right. right. Serious. So you can see there, look, that pin. Hope you can see. That pin is now in there. So, got our trusty screwdriver, and we just make sure that she's all the way in. I can even get the end of it lasted thing there we go so she's in the middle there and then we have our bevel gear and the bevel gear just sits on top of that pin and stops it going anywhere basically it sits in that slot so we can just push that in rotate the bevel gear until she locates See there now, she can't go anywhere. Bearings are nice. We've got this, which is our front differential. The oil I used in here before was, I believe, 800. Personally, I would go a bit higher and use 3000 in the front diff. So, I need my little screwdriver, it's on the floor. And then we're gonna take the diff apart. Let's put some 3000, because the last time I had this apart, I only put 800 in here. I don't think 800 is up to it. So we're gonna change the diff oil. Give her a little bit more bite at the front end. Help it lock, because the if you have some light oil in there, you can have a sort of sloppy diff and it's not going to lock or not lock but engage very well so you're going to just spin away spin to win as we used to say in mountain biking so messy job luckily we've got our gloves let's check the condition of that Right, so we just open it up. Place that to one side. These are the gears for your differential as we covered in an earlier video. You see there the oil is very light. We've got a little container here guys and we're just gonna see if any oil wants to come out. The blooming gears want to come out, that's for sure. Look, all the gears have come out, but there's not actually a lot of oil in there. So, that's a good job. Are we doing this? Here's the gears to your diff. They've got little washers on the end. Don't lose them. I've nearly lost them before. Pain in the backside, I know. Don't lose them. Otherwise, you just make your life a whole lot harder. So you get one in there with the flat bit down. You see, they engage like that. And then the top bit, so you want the flat bit at the bottom there. And this bit, we want the flat bit down. So, here's the flat bit. And just place it in there, flat bit down. You can see there, you can see there that it's 
make sure they're in there. The gears engage nicely. Right, we're going to fill up this front diff with 3000. Little top on there, it's got a little hole. So we can go generous amount, guys. You want to make sure it sinks in there nicely. You don't want to be, you don't want your gears to be rubbish. So see, we're applying this liberally. Just make sure you get it everywhere. So we've got a nice feeling diff. See, nice. That's actually stiffened that up ever slightly with the 3000 weight oil. Feels nice. So this bit, guys, is the bit I hate. Let's put a bit more in there. Boop. Boop. All right, put that away. Up on top. This is the bit I hate. The, so I could do with a new one of these seals. These are a right pain in the ass. So, right. So the way I do this, guys, is and this may not be the best way to do it, but it's the way I do it because it's fiddly, fiddly job. So we put two of these screws in, opposite each other, not next to each other, opposite each other. We put this in here, really just so it's pokey pokey through, that other side is too much. Just want to be poking through there nicely. That's what she said. Ha ha ha. Right, so we get our seal and you just got to line it up. So make sure that the other sides line up too. So just, you don't want to split this, guys. You got, for my older viewers, you know what's rubber and you don't want to split. So, Let's take some care of this, please. What I might do actually is put the other, I might actually just modify this rule and put all four in. In theory, as long as you've got no gaps from the front to the back, side to side, then you should be all right. Let's put this in here. That just fits on the top. Make sure that's on there nice and tweet. Just remember guys, this is a pain in the backside. But, that's something you've got to do. Let's get these. So hopefully these will locate without dropping the oil all over the table. So we'll go, whoop. Give it a little wiggle. and tight right there as if by magic guys there is our bevel gear on there it feels nice and tasty that is a pain in the backside that job one thing I don't enjoy but it needs to be done at least we've got some nice 3000 in there right as in my other videos the input shaft turns left from the motor. So we need to get this in. So all you do is plonk that in to rotate it left, make sure your wheels are going straight, which they are not. So turn around. Turn it left. Now our wheels 
are going nice and straight. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Right, so now we're going to put our tasty new front diff casing on. Oh, not that hole. <laughs> That's what she said. Right. One thing, guys, uh, to note, you don't want to over-tighten these because you'll strip them. So, when, they, when they're nipped up, don't over-tighten them, otherwise you'll strip them out. They won't stay tight. So just nip them up. You feel when they're ready, and then leave them there. Nip them up, they get tight, just nip them up. Right, just check this. I spin on a left, and we have drive. So again, that's the front diff done. Back diff, the back diff isn't very happy. Like I'm feeling a bit of, there's probably a few teeth in there that are knackered we just need to huh, wrong tool just need to take the diff apart but uh, i did put quite a lot of marine grease in here because the back one it takes a bit of punishment change over the bevel gear Rotator till she falls in. We're just feeling for any resistance, guys. I think there was something wrong with this bevel gear. Make sure they're all hunky dory. Right, let's put the diff casing back on. Yummy. Just starting these up, guys. Make sure we nip them up. Right, guys, I've done the diffs. Um, now I'm going to do a time lapse of me putting the car back together. So enjoy the time lapse. If you want to see um, videos of how to take the car apart. I do have a couple of other videos on the Maverick Quantum Flux on how to take it apart, so feel free to have a look at those. Uh, otherwise, we'll look at the time lapse and let's get this thing back together now the diffs are all working.
Right guys, here's the end result. The car is back together. I'll just prove to you it works. You can see, four wheel drive again. Both the differentials are working. The only problem I have are the drive shafts are bent still, so I need to get some HD shafts. But other than that, she's back together guys. <laughs>